you with your big old arms, waving them big. He's got some moves here, y'all. Well, some pent-up energy. <laughs> pent up, some pent-up emotion, right. Okay, welcome, everyone. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. We are here with the Stephen Caroline Show. We have a very special co-host today. Because I'm not Steve. You're not Steve. Not Steve. Steve. Not going to be singing. No singing. No laughing at no every single repeating thing. Repeating everything you say. I'm not going to be doing it. Oh my gosh. I find myself doing that. You've told me I know. that I, I do know. it too. The bad habit. Yes. Well, Steve had some family things he needed to take care of, so he's not here today. Please keep him and his family in your thoughts and prayers. Yes, please do. Please we appreciate do. that. Okay. So, as Steve would say, as we always say, we have a great show in store for you today. Yes, we do. We've worked really hard on this. Really hard. No, not really. I'm telling you. We really passed hard. each other in the restroom. Yes. <laughs> that was it. And she said, do I need to bring anything to be prepared? I said, you could or not. I brought my glasses. Glasses. And a pen. And a pen. Very good. And I've got my pen. I've got my email pulled up. If you'd like to send us an email during the program, I am cler at axlife.org. I am D James, D E E J A M E S at axlife.org. Very good. So let us know you're there. I've got one announcement from Brandy Eddy. Uh, that, it must be important. Very Brandy. important. It's always important if it's from Brandy. That's right. You know, once in a while, we do have important information that we share. Yes, we It's do. not every show, but we have some. So she said, can you let residents know that when you use CVS medicines, they do not deliver locally? It is mail delivery, not hand delivery like other pharmacies. With that being said, if you do not need your medicine faster than five to seven days, the mail delivery is a good option. But if you need it right away, you need to have someone from transportation or someone on staff go and pick it up. So if you have any questions about that, email Brandy. Also, remember that the lab day has changed to Wednesday only. Friday, no more labs for now. You got it? You're like a nurse. Some people think I am a nurse. I, I, I use you for my medical advice frequently. I know. Well, and as long as we have Google. That's right. We Dr. can Google. diagnose anything. That's right. When Dee and I were both in Willowbrook Court, they think everybody in Willowbrook Court is a nurse. And we know a few words, enough words. To, to be dangerous. be dangerous. Right. To think that we know more than we actually do. Mm-hmm. So that That's is kind of my whole life. <laughs> People think I know more than I actually well, do. Well, they think that about me too. Okay. I did a lot of faking it. <laughs> Fake it till you make it. Fake it till you make it. Okay. Did you bring anything specific you want to talk uh, about before you know, we get started? I, I just wanted to say there's some, some things that have really come to my attention since we started this mad house at the 1st of March. And, um, there's so many of you that have been kind and reached out. I I appreciate your comments. Um, and I had a resident share with me the other day, you know, blessings only come to those who notice. And that is the truth. And that's for staff. That's for residents. That's for everybody. It depends on what you're looking for. That's if right. you want to find negative, you're going to find it. If yep. you want to find positive, you're going to find it. So... Blessings only come to those who notice. That's been an important, that's been my biggest takeaway from this event thus far. And there's many takeaways. There are, there are. Many. I um, say the residents have really, this whole mail issue, we, Steve and I amazing. talked about it before, but the whole mail, the way they responded so quickly, they've just taken it over. I still over. have people coming up to me. That's wonderful. So, You guys really are the epitome of loving kindness right. yourselves. And I had a Facebook page post a few weeks ago how it goes both ways here at Trina States, the loving kindness from the staff to the residents and the residents to the staff. So more and more in our venture here through this pandemic, 
we're getting to be a family. We are. And families love each other. They get mad with each other. Sometimes they duke it out with each other. Sometimes they don't talk to each other. <laughs> <laughs> but we get through it. That's right. And that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing now. All right, so let's talk about some boredom busters. Oh, love some boredom busters. Some boredom busters. Now, Dee and I were considered essential. We which, are. Isn't that funny? Which I love. I know. That makes you laugh every time it you say it. It makes me laugh because a lot of my friends are not essential, who don't work here. And they're at home doing things they should have done a year ago, doing things in their house, Cleaning projects. Out. Sometimes, I have to say... I wish I was not essential. Do you ever feel like that? Yeah, I do. Like I just do. for a day or two, just stay at home. And not be essential for and a day. And not be essential for And a just day. to sit back and enjoy <laughs> non Nothing. It's not extensionism. Uh, I don't know what the word is. I don't either. Not but to enjoy that um, anonymity. How about that? Right. That's right. Well, I'm not, not real patient with people who are like, I'm so bored at home. I, don't, I can't either. go to work. I have and I'm no, like, what? Yeah. <laughs> or this is, they'll say, this is so stressful being at home. I'm thinking, mm -hmm. it's pretty stressful working. <laughs> it's stressful working, especially where we work. Right. Dee and I have talked about this, that we have a different perspective than a lot of people we know outside of Toronto well, State. And still having an income during this crisis is a huge blessing. It's and a I huge think, blessing. I think our staff is very much aware of that and very appreciative of that. So as am I, we all yes. are. So all of us. So for all of you who are at home, not, we're not saying you're not essential. Don't don't no, think that you are because essential. you are you are very essential. Hey, if you weren't here, we wouldn't be here, right? That's right. That's right. <laughs> so. Catherine Jeter just chimed in. So oh. fun to see people and their apartments when residents open their door. Delightful to wish people a happy day. Oh, she's a Catherine, mail carrier. Catherine, you are delightful. Have you seen her delightful apron that she wears yes, she during does. mail delivery? Well, I, I told want them all, one of mail those is aprons. Nasty. You get ink it's all over really, you. Really and I'm gross. like, don't wear white pants to deliver no. mail. We think the two grossest things right now are mail and money. Yes. Because yeah. maybe not for all of you, you're not spending as much cash right. since you're not going off property. But when you think about the many people that touch, touch money. The, the money before you've gotten it. Okay, so you guys are at home. We digress. And. A uh, board and buster. Board and buster. Oh, yeah. Did we get one? No, you. Okay, thought you got one. Started it an hour so, ago. So I know. Take a walk outside. <laughs> I say there are so many more people walking since we had to shut down the fitness room. Yes. And aren't and we I lucky love to have it. this campus? Yes, because a lot of the X communities do not have property like we have, and if they do, it does not look like ours. No, it is not as gorgeous as we are. So lucky. Let's see. You could do some mending. The what? Mending. Oh, no. this is that's not something I would do. You could bake or cook something you have in your cupboard. Who has baked something just using ingredients in their cupboard? You know, I know one person who's been baking a lot. That's Frances Lynch. She's always a baker. She's always baking, and I think she's baking more. She designed her apartment so she could still so she bake. could bake. Early on in this quarantine, she said, "Your exercises in baking are getting me through." Oh, that's so kind. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. You can uh, work on your computer. Learn how to use your smart device. Wow. That's, yep. There's lots of tutorials online. Use Dr. Google, YouTube. You can find out things that you want to know. We had a Zoom meeting with the residents uh, last week, and one of the things that came up was residents would like to learn some technical things. I'm going to talk with our IT director and find out when he's coming back and see if that's something we could schedule with him. We could have you submit your requests, things you would like to learn. Now, it wouldn't be something like how to create a PowerPoint or, you know, uh, film a movie, something that would take more time than we would have in a few minutes. But if there's something that you would like to learn, maybe that's something I can work out with west and have him help us out tiktoks you know that's the big rage tiktoks tell me about tiktoks Tick, so that's what all the kids do tiktoks it's an it's app a little app and you dance and you sing and you do silly stuff so i shared with brandy today 
um, my large dog does not like to have his nails done. Oh, mine doesn't either. So my there little was a dog. TikTok last night my 17-year-old shared with me of a woman who wraps saran wrap around her head and then put peanut butter around her head. And while the dog was licking the peanut butter, she was doing his nails. Hmm. <laughs> so I told Katie, I said, that's all on you, sis. Oh, my I'm gosh. Not doing it. I think if this happens, we need to see But that a would be a great TikTok, right? <laughs> to do so, it. <laughs> but there's a lot of music and dance, and I know how awesome the dance show is. The dance show has become um, pretty popular. And I when I put the, the link on the portal the other day, I said, you guys still want the dancing? And a lot of people said, yes, give yeah. us dancing. Give us dancing. I think it would be fun if we got some more staff involved. Hmm. I came in here the other day, and I was going to dance with behind Steve, kind of in goop, but he was just too good. He is really He's good. just too good. He does have some moves. He does have some moves. I mean, all his drama just goes everywhere with his Drama moves. surrounds him. Yes. He's dramatic. He is. He's dramatic. But he lights up our day. He does. He does. We miss him when he's not here. We do. It's so quiet. It's very quiet. Okay, let's see. Birthdays. Oh. Let's go ahead and do some birthdays. Today is the 24th. We don't have any birthdays today, no. but we have a couple over the weekend. Let's see, what day, what is the date Today's on the 24th. Monday? So Monday will be 27th. the 27th. So we'll go until the 26th. So do you want to read the birthdays? Sure. Okay. Sure. You've already done these two? Yes, we have. Okay. Tomorrow we got two special birthdays, Miss Dottie Schwobel. Birthday, Happy Dottie. Happy birthday, Dottie. And Miss Jean Vieira. Very nice. Sunday, our own David Lennon. David Lennon. And Monday, Mr. Joe Poole. Joe Poole. And we might do you again on Monday, Joe. So we're going to sing Happy Birthday now. Oh, great. Do I'm you not want a singer. to? I'm well, not either. They know we'll this just already. Have to, they'll have to suffer along. Because <laughs> usually Steve's the carrier. I could, of the tell, I could tell my, I, maybe after we sing, I will tell my story <laughs> about my non singing voice. Okay. Do you want to hold the balloon up? Sure. Do you want me to hold do it? Do I have to dance it like he does with the ball? Does it like karaoke? You can do whatever you want okay. to. All right, here okay. we go. <clears throat> Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to hey, all dear, of you on everybody. this list, happy birthday to you. Yay. Yay. So I'll tell my story. So some of you know this, I was adopted. I was five weeks old when I was adopted, so my parents are my parents, and Mom was very musical. <laughs> my brother and my two sisters also inherited the music genes. I didn't really, but we tried really hard. So I took um, clarinet, guitar, and piano lessons. They were trying to find the right thing for they you. They were trying to find they the really right were. musical thing <clears throat> for me, right. the right musical thing. Well, in band, we had a big competition we all had to go into the band director's office and play our part so he could figure out how we were all going to sound as a group. So I went in and played my part, and then he took the music, and he held it up to me, and he said, Okay, then, I want you to play from here to here and not play from here to here, and then you can start <laughs> playing again. <laughs> That's what he told me. And so that's what I did. Tried guitar, tried piano, and then my mom wanted us to go with my youngest sister to her voice lessons. She was around 13, 14, 15, and she was singing opera. So we all went to this fancy lady voice teacher's house, and I don't remember her name, but she had us sing the scale as sisters. Well, since we weren't really blood sisters right. there's not any of that harmonizing that comes <laughs> no andrew sisters no andrew sisters no. for us so i sang with my sisters and then she's pointed at me and she said you i would like you to sing by yourself and i said okay oh, and, and you're thinking because i sound so good i'm not <laughs> yeah well that was that was a burst pretty I'm quickly gonna be after the sister of the middle that's right so I sang by myself, and she looked at me, and she said, have you ever thought about an instrument? Oh. 
So your voice was not so your instrument. So I am not musical. Don't sing. I like to sing. You've heard me during the exercise classes. I will sing along. It's not that pretty, but I enjoy it. So I'll keep on doing it. Keep on doing it. I tell everybody I sound just like Bonnie Raitt in the car. And somehow I get out of the car and it's all gone. You know where I sound the best is when I'm teaching pool class. Oh, because of the sound. Oh, man. I just think I'm I'm like, I'm on stage. Well, I think that's the whole attraction you have for fitness. I do. Yeah, Yeah, that's part of it. Yeah. That and telling people what to do. And telling people what to do. Telling people what to do. I'm I'm getting better at it. Uh. Yeah. You know, when I had my very first job out of college, my supervisor, her name was Pam Martin. Pam said I was so quiet, and I was. I really was. She sent me to assertiveness training. Oh. Can you believe it? <laughs> That's where it all began. <laughs> you you excelled. That's where it started. You excelled at That's where it started. <laughs> <laughs> I excel at it now. Yes, I do. Okay, let's see. What else do we have here? We have got a movie challenge. We've been oh. doing a song challenge. You guys know what I'm talking about. We read off a topic, and whoever we ask, our guest or Steve or myself, we have to name a song. Well, we're going to start that with movies. Same thing with movies. So we're going to start with D. Let's see. A movie that you practically know the whole script. Oh, that's an easy one. Mm -hmm. My favorite movie of all time is Jaws. Jaws? I know the whole thing. The whole thing of Jaws? We're going to need a bigger boat. I never saw Jaws. Oh, well, that's that that just might fracture our friendship. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) I better see it. Well, I think for me, it might be Princess Bride. Oh, I love Princess Bride, too. My kids know all those words. I know all those words. I love that movie. Okay. And I saw Mandy Patinkin in concert. That's right. I remember just a couple years ago. And at the very end of it, he sang all of his Broadway songs. And at the very end of it, he came out and did the whole... My name, name is, is yes, yeah. yes. I am he did looking all that. for the six people were finger just mom. A, amazed. So yes, people like who that. probably have never seen the movie were surprised at oh, what yeah. is he doing. They were had no clue. Okay, so we've been going over our daily quarantine questions. Oh, uh, I don't know if anybody's actually journaling, but these are some questions to keep in mind. Oh wait, I wanted to tell you a yes. story I heard about this. Tell me, since we're doing journaling. Okay. One of the community communities started a program, and they're writing a book. So they have about twelve residents, and a resident writes one chapter, and then hands it off to <gasps> another resident. I love that idea. And so theirs is a murder mystery. Wow. And I can't wait to see how it goes. So I was thinking oh, that would be cool. perfect for us. That might be something so. fun. Let us know if anybody's interested in that. It has, doesn't have to be the same thing. It could be. No, and it doesn't have to be a full chapter. It could be like, a, an ongoing journal. You write your day, pass it on. Somebody else writes their day and right. the next day. And then we see what it turns into at the end. Very great idea. I thought that was a neat idea. Cool idea. Something we can steal. We like to steal. We stuff. like to steal things and make them better. That's right. That is what we do. That's what we do. (laughs) That's what we do. Okay, so number three, we've done number one already. What are you grateful for today? Number two was who am I checking in on or connecting with today? Now, number three, what expectations of normal am I letting go of today? Oh, that's 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 a a good one. one, Because uh, normal is not normal anymore, and I'm not sure when it will ever be normal. Again. So what, what, ex- what are you thinking about? Oh, what expectations of normal am I letting go of today? Today, I'm letting go of, I'm using these long pauses to, to come up think with something. of or, or something. Or is this a cue for me to say? It could be both. So I was thinking <laughs> I, I am a natural born hugger. I always hug yes, people. That, I that always is shake I'm glad hands. you said that. I'm, I'm, um, and I, I think that's going to have to go to the wayside. I don't think we're going to return back to that. And that makes me sad. That makes me very sad. I have said often I miss hugging people. I miss, yeah, I think we all crave that human touch. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't know that that's going to be a new Anytime normal. soon. Nope. Anytime soon. One thing that Dee has mentioned and private conversations is how is this time we've spent for COVID-19 going to affect our future flu seasons? Right. And if we're seeing that we could do this social distancing 
to help with this virus, would it help us? There's a lot of people who die from the flu every year. Mm-hmm. We've never gone to these kind of extremes for it. Right. So is that going to change in the coming months, years? Interesting It thoughts. is interesting because, you know, ultimately when we were talking about the flu and a lot of people, it happens in the cold seasons, but it's not because it's cold outside. It happens because we're all cooped up together inside. Mm-hmm. And so very much like this process with um the c word and uh how is that going to impact us as we go into the fall and and winter months how is it will it or will it maybe we won't wait and see i say probably will this year because this year is not a normal year no not a normal year nope Mm -mm. all right i got something from john sq i don't have anything Somebody email D, please. Just email. D-E-E, even if you, James. Yeah. Just even, to make her feel good. Yeah. Uh, he talked to someone yesterday that since the quarantine, oh, wow, they were, are in the best shape of their life because of all the exercise <laughs> sessions with Caroline every day. Oh. That's that, wonderful. That's wonderful. I am so pleased that we could, we are able to do this. Some communities do not have this capacity. No. So they have put maybe one video up to air once a day. So I'm really pleased that we can do this. And many hope that these classes can be the new normal. And I I have thought about what will our fitness schedule look like when it comes back to whatever normal is. It's going to be somehow different. Will be different. Um, Things will be different. We'll see how what goes. We'll see what happens. So let us know what expectations of normal you are letting go of or maybe have already let go of. I do miss having people in the fitness room, most people. Yeah. You know, maybe. Yeah, there's a handful. Maybe right? there's, yeah. Yeah, we'll talk few. about them later. We'll talk about them later. Right. Okay. So let's go over the one of these. Two hats. Two hats. We talked about wearing hats today i went to looking for a hat in steve's office but i didn't, didn't find one, one. he mm-hmm. keeps them somewhere else thinks he keeps them hidden well he has this display above his desk and i was like i don't know if those were hats just to wear or if they mean something to, to him. him yeah and, and he would tell me he would tell you <laughs> so. if he was here he would tell <laughs> yeah. you two hats were hanging on a hat rack in the hallway one hat said to the other you stay here i'll go on ahead These are from <laughs> the great queen, Alan Zesky. Oh. We are enjoying these groaners. Oh. They make us groan, but I have to say we're enjoying them. Time is flying by. We've got seven minutes to go. Were there Thanks. any issues that you wanted to, to talk you know, about? Again, I just wanted to tell you I'm working on some. A lot of you have sent me emails and uh, about the team and complimentary, and I'm trying to get all of those printed off and I want to get them on a board for the staff to all see because we don't have our staff meetings the way we used to. It's harder. We don't have We're meetings. communicating basically through emails or, or In teams the hallway, messages and yeah. things like that. So Texting. I want to be able to share some of that with the rest of the team. I think that's important. I think that's very important. And uh, we got a lot of superheroes here. And a lot of people that are just going above and beyond. And yeah. we couldn't do it without them. We couldn't. We couldn't do it without Every them. day, you guys are aware of this, the r- employees, when we come in and out of the gate, we have our temperature taken. The, cha- the, the questions change this week? Question, every day we it add It seems to like the there's new questions that yeah. we get asked in our screening process. So there's, there's, you're seeing all these new symptoms come up related to the C word. Uh, we're adding those to our screening. Yes. So that's been an ongoing process. Um, and again, about travel, you know, we've asked our employees, we're not giving out any more PTO time for right now. Mm-mm. So we're asking employees not to go anywhere. Um, pretty much they're going from here work to, to home. work to home and to the grocery store when we need to. Yeah. And many basically. of us have designated someone in their family to be the grocery store person. Mm-hmm. So one person. Yeah. And we take, I've got a mask I keep in the car. I've got wipes and hand sanit- hand sanitizer. My husband has the same. When he does go somewhere, he comes back out. He puts his hand sanitizer on, wipes down with a wipe, wipes off the steering wheel, the whole thing. The whole thing. Anyways, but what I was going to say is that there's two 
nursing staff, sometimes they're CNAs, sometimes they're nurses, um, who sit at the guardhouse every Sorry. shift, 24-7, with the guard. So they are taking temperatures, asking these questions. Every single time I come in or leave, whoever's there, they are the most pleasant they are. greeters or the last people I see at the end of my day. It is such a blessing. And you know what else they is really nice? have such good attitudes. A lot of the other staff... Um, Carmen, Steve, people, they'll go by and get uh, croissants or two co some coffees and drop off down there for mm -hmm. them. And nobody's asking them to do that, but no, they're just they've so just, appreciative. They just, yeah, and that, it's that, really that, nice. That is nice. It's really so. nice. So Ellen is watching, I think, but she says that she and her cat are playing gin rummy and that her cat is cheating. Oh, that's awful. Ellen, you might, are you a good player? I know. Well, that, she might feel bad it's a, for the Maybe cat. it's a really smart cat. It's a very smart very cat. Very smart cat. Well, it lives with Ellen. Ellen's I'm telling you, that's woman. true. That's right. I did <laughs> learn, we did learn Rummy Cube at my house. Oh, I, know that's a I haven't played here. that in a long time. So uh, my kids and I, we space out around the dining room table and my husband and we play Phase 10 and Rummy Cube and uno and all of that so. wow that takes Lots me of back family time Lo there's <laughs> almost too much family time <laughs> and we're not even at home all day no. <laughs> but sometimes there's too much family time you guys know what we're talking about let's let's do a couple shout outs for the calendar mm -hmm. today at 2 30 line dancing with linda shooter on channel 900 She's amazing. She's amazing. She recorded six or seven songs a couple weeks ago. We did it last Friday. We're going to do it again today. Probably every Friday, as long as that's something you guys are enjoying. And if you want some different dances, I can talk to her about another recording. So, Or if somebody else wants to record Or if anybody dance. else wants to record dancing, that? let me know. Let me know. West, so, maybe. He's a dancer. Maybe West. He was on our <laughs> show Wednesday. And, yeah, he's got some skills. Now, Saturday morning, it's going to be the same lineup on the fitness classes that we had last week. So you start at 8.15. The last class will start at 10.30. You can pick and choose the ones that you want. We'll do a Steve and Caroline rerun tomorrow. And let's see. The aviation program will run again on Saturday at 2.30. And you've got a movie Saturday night at 7.30. One thing I'm thinking about adding next week is a 20, 25-minute yoga session, a YouTube video, I think on Wednesday, and maybe a similar thing, Qigong, on Friday. I know we had a small group of Qigongers. Mm -hmm. I don't know what is to that call. Right? I, don't I don't think know. so. I don't know. I'm sure it's not right. I like it, though. I like it, too. And you might be missing that practice, so I'm going to add one of my favorite... Um, Teachers on Friday. There is some is there are some issues with the YouTube channel URL, so we'll see how that goes. Hopefully, the program we use will have it worked out, but we'll see how it goes. We've got two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Anything else from you? Well, you know, we're still dealing with people leaving campus, and you got to come back and stay in your apartment 14 days. And they don't like and it, do they? And there's no exceptions, and no, nobody likes it. Has anybody gotten, like, really mad at you about yeah, it? Yeah, I've gotten yelled at a couple of times. Has anybody, like, been happy and thanked you? Um, yeah, no, not no, really. Not about that? Uh, well, some of my introverts are like, I'm okay staying by myself. I saw this thing on Facebook. I can't wait for things to go back to normal so that I can social distance the way I want to. <laughs> 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 yeah, there's some people who uh, love the social distancing. They oh, love yeah. it. And some of them practice it all the time. Yeah, anyway, all the time. So, so it's just normal not, for them. Yeah, this normal is, for yeah. them. But normal, normal. I think a lot of people are cleaning out their apartments. A lot more people are reading. Yeah, um, a lot of reading going on. So There's a lot of internet use, usage right. going on. Let's see, for Carl Bender, the movie is Kate and Leopold on That's Saturday night. Meg Ryan and Hugh Jackman, I think. That's an older movie. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I Guys probably won't like it. I don't know that I've seen that movie a, I either. I think it's more like a chick flick. Yeah, like a Ron... Rom-com. Yeah. Isn't that what they right. call them? A yeah. rom-com. Do you know what that is? You can email and let us know if you know it. Has anybody emailed D yet? No. Oh, my gosh, you I guys. 
So I'm just D E E James <laughs> at xlife.org. We might have to sit here longer. We might have to just for her to get an email. Out, this, this painful aspect. Very painful. It, I, I I know I'm not a Steve. I just can't be. I'm not there's a Steve no, either. There's nobody here that's a Steve. There's nobody like Steve. And that's one thing we really appreciate about him. Well, <laughs> There's only one of him. He changes the mood frequently. Oh, I did want to say, uh, many of you have asked about strawberries from Strawberry Hill. Oh, yeah. I am working with them now, trying to see if I can get a flat up here. And we'll put it out there for orders as soon as we can. Wonderful. They've been very nice, but they're overwhelmed, too, getting um, all I've the I've heard they've been picked. selling out almost immediately. Yeah. So... So okay. we are working on that. We'll let y'all know. That's important. That's strawberries very are important. Strawberries are oh, very important. Oh, you should important. do a baking show next week with strawberries. We might do a baking. We could, we've done strawberries. We could do strawberries again. We could do something else. Okay. Okay. Oh, listen. I got something from Catherine Jeter. Good. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you, Catherine, because I was really getting nervous. Oh, it says you are the best. You are the best. Well, I love me some Catherine Jeter. Love Catherine. We love everybody out there. We like all of our fans. We thank do. you so much. You guys really encouraged Steve and I with the dancing and everything else that we're doing, and we appreciate that. And we're just trying to make you laugh. We, we, That's it. We're going to get through it together because... Because we're a family. We're right? family. We do it in every we way. We do this stuff all the time. Yeah. So as we check out, I'm going to leave Dee up here by herself while I go be the producer. And t turn the buttons off. And turn the buttons off. All right. You guys have a great day. Take care.